dive into the depths of a game that defies expectations and plunges players into a darker, more narrative-driven experience than anticipated. In this review, we explore a title that seamlessly blends the challenging combat of the Souls genre with a story that rivals its competition. While navigating through fluid gameplay and humorous NPC interactions, players will encounter a world both familiar and refreshingly vibrant. Join us as we uncover the depths of this captivating adventure, where every encounter brings both delight and danger, and where the line between challenge and enjoyment is expertly tread. Against the odds, time and time again, creatures adapt to make the most of their given environment. Some learn to feed on others, stealing their vitality for their own. Some become scavengers, living off what strangers leave behind. And others still, as we will soon see, would prefer to be simply left alone. Please open up. Oh, uh, you're not a bird. Sir, are you the owner of this residence? You mean my shell? Uh, yeah, it's mine. Do you like it? I represent the Royal Duchy of Slacktide, which has recently annexed the territory surrounding and including this tide pool. I'm here to inform you that you have outstanding taxes that date back in upwards of 10 tides. If you are presently unable to pay this balance, the duchy will claim your home until you- uh, Hold on, uh, I've got some questions. First of all, uh, what's a duchy? Also, taxes? Okay, so basically, the Duchess of Slack Tide owns this whole area now. And she puts a lot of effort into keeping it safe. So, everyone who benefits from that has to abide by her rules and pay up once per tide. There's still plenty of birds here. I don't know if it's really safe- Look, kid, I don't have time to argue political nuances here. I've got a lot of tax evaders to get through. You gotta pay up right now, or I'm gonna have to repo your property. Got it? Okay, okay, I think I've got a hard kelp or two around here somewhere. Combat and exploration in another crab's treasure follow the familiar formula of Souls-like games, with sprawling levels to explore, shortcuts to uncover, and a plethora of sea creatures to battle. Precision and decisiveness are key as you exploit enemy weaknesses and punish any hesitation. However, what sets another crab's treasure apart are its innovative mechanics, chief among them being the shield system. Instead of carrying a shield, Players scavenge makeshift shields from debris strewn across the ocean floor, such as shot glasses, shotgun shells, and tin cans. It's both endearing and poignant to witness the tiny hermit crab, Krill, adorned with these makeshift defenses. 
Each shield not only offers protection but also grants unique combat abilities. From summoning magical bubbles to unleashing explosive attacks, the variety adds depth to gameplay. However, players must consider the weight of each shield, affecting their agility in combat. The game introduces a compelling risk-reward element by limiting players to the shields they find, encouraging constant environmental scanning for optimal choices. Additionally, players can invest currency, dubbed microplastics, to ensure a favored shell, ensuring its availability upon respawn. This dynamic system keeps players engaged as they navigate combat encounters, where the tension peaks as shields shatter and players scramble for replacements. Another crab's treasure ingeniously intertwines gameplay mechanics with its charming world, delivering a thrilling and immersive experience for fans of the genre. In staying true to its genre, another crab's treasure doesn't shy away from warning players about its intended difficulty level. While it emphasizes the need for skill refinement, seasoned players may find the challenge slightly lacking. As a Souls-like veteran myself, I found the game to be relatively easy. Despite encountering different enemy variants with varying skills later in the game, their basic move sets were recycled frequently. Once I grasped their attack timing, evading and countering became second nature. Though bosses initially presented a bit more difficulty, their limited movesets made mastery achievable in short order. However, individual experiences may diverge, particularly for those less accustomed to higher difficulty levels. Another crab's treasure could serve as an accessible entry point to the genre for newcomers, offering a more formidable challenge than expected. Yet, while the game has its moments of difficulty, it generally falls on the easier side of the Souls-like spectrum. Don't anticipate encounters akin to the Trials of Melnia, Blade of Miquela. Nonetheless, another crab's treasure delivers an enjoyable experience, albeit with occasional spikes in challenge, suitable for both veterans and newcomers alike. This game excels in smooth gameplay and polished mechanics, providing a fluid experience. The humorous dialogue and NPC interactions add depth to the adventure without overwhelming the player. Its vibrant graphic style diverges from typical Souls-like atmospheres, creating a unique appeal. The user interface is intuitive, 
offering ample customization options for character and difficulty settings to cater to a wide audience. However, some minor bugs and boundary issues slightly detract from the overall experience. Despite these flaws, it delivers a charming and challenging gameplay experience that is sure to keep players hooked for hours. So far an excellent game, funny writing with oodles of aquatic puns, vibrant art design with a clear aesthetic, engaging platforming that includes a grappling hook, and a fantastic core combat system. This game would need to trip and nosedive into trash really hard, really soon, for it to not end up at least a good game overall. In conclusion, another crab's treasure pleasantly surprised me with its ability to inject a breath of fresh air into the Souls-like genre. While some may miss the obscure background storytelling typical of From Software titles, Agro Crab's effort proves that it's possible to deliver a new and engaging experience while still honoring familiar gameplay mechanics. If you've ever imagined a fusion of Dark Souls or Sekiro with the vibrant world of Jack and Daxter, then your wishes have been granted with another crab's treasure. So, embark on this adventure and discover the treasure trove of excitement that awaits beneath the surface.
Thank <laughs> you.